I was asked to show how to make a Schmidt trigger circuit using the 741 op amp so I'm just gonna make a quick video on that I'll do a little step-by-step -step build but uh, first I just want to demonstrate what that is in case uh, you're not aware of it so in this case right now we have a 3 volt uh, positive voltage signal going to the inverting pin and so if you've been watching my other videos that usually means that if I go negative then the output will change but now you see I've gone negative and the outputs the same it's inverted the red LED is on and now when we get about 2 volts you notice the green LED comes on so at about negative 2 volts then it changed and now we're gonna go the other way so when the voltage is negative in this circuit the green LED is on but now you see we've gone to positive and in my other circuits as soon as we go to positive it changes but again it doesn't change until we get to about 2 volts so this is called hysteresis you know this is so you know like when in my other circuits when I was about zero it, they kind of fluttered back and forth sometimes when you got in that range so this gives us a 4 volt difference kind of a safety point where it won't change until we break you know 4 volt difference from the settings so to begin with I got my standard output for the videos I've been making this is just a polarity indicator and you can also set the circuit up where if you just want the LED to turn on or off you just take out the other LED you know if you just want a green LED that either turns on or off you just remove the red one but this helps you see what the output is a little bit better so to begin with we have this this is a 5 kilo ohm trim pot we're gonna be using uh, you know two 9 volt batteries to alternate the current so they both though are in series as far as this trim pots concerned so you definitely want one that can handle the current and this is a 5 kilo ohm trim pot now here is a 10 kilo ohm resistor that connects the trim pot to the inverting pin now that's the one with the negative symbol in this schematic that's why it was inverted that's why when the trim pot got positive enough then the red LED turned on I have the red LED set to turn on when the output is negative so when you get this positive enough the output gets negative when you get this negative enough the output gets positive and I have the green LED to turn on so here's a close-up you can see it a lot better we got the trim pot here and then this is a 10k resistor 10,000 ohm resistor comes from there to the inverting input that's why the output was the opposite of the voltage that we gave now for the non-inverting pin the input we're gonna attach one all of the resistors I'm gonna use now are uh, 10k resistors this other one is just for the load that's uh, unrelated now this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor we'll put that one to positive and now we'll put another 10k ohm resistor to negative so this is a voltage divider it cuts the voltage in half which will be the ground so when we set the circuit up this way then as soon as it gets slightly positive we'll get the inverted signal so that the red LED comes on indicating we have a negative output and as soon as it goes negative we'll have a positive output and that will turn the green on so that's right at the zero point and with the Schmidt trigger we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to use feedback and I haven't really covered this in videos but uh, all we're going to do is take the output and again this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor but it doesn't want to go in and uh, this will give feedback which uh, in a sense will, will delay that triggering until in our case with this circuit we're either two volts uh, above or below the the point so that gives us a four volt difference where it will hold it and that's because the output 
will be holding a charge until we can overcome that. And here's a, another view, kind of a aerial. Now you may have noticed in the last scene I, I filmed, this uh, resistor was one spot over. So if you're trying to do some wiring based on, uh, you know, looking at the circuit I did, um, I accidentally put that there when I accidentally removed the resistor. It should be on this row here. So of course now we test it out. So right now the trim pot is most likely in the, the positive zone, but uh, to check we'll slowly turn it down negative and now the green LED came on. So we know this is about the point, uh, you know, negative two volts. Because remember the signal is inverted. And now we'll turn it up and I've gone way past that point where the green LED turned on and now the red LED comes on. So now we know it's about positive 2 volts. And then working back down again of course takes a little while before the green one comes on. So we don't have to worry about uh, fluttering where the lights kind of can't decide which one to turn on. We need a 4 volt difference. And so that's the Schmidt trigger. Somebody asked me to to do a video on this one. They requested it in the comment section in one of my other ones. So I kind of quickly threw this video together. You want to make sure you unplug this. Remember, whether the lights are on or not, that uh, trim pot's always wasting electricity. So somebody asked me to demonstrate the Schmidt trigger. So I thought I'd throw together a quick step-by-step uh, -step build. Um, I'll be doing an actual video on this in the future with the diagram and everything and uh, hopefully it'll be quicker and a lot more organized so but I uh, hope this was helpful.